Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Soul Calibur running on my Xbox 360 on Xbox Arcade. I got a bunch of points, which is why I've got done a few of these gameplays. I uh, really don't know why it's so heavily boarded. I don't think that this is the Dreamcast version. I think it is the arcade version. But yeah, it's got these big borders at the side, and what you can't see because of where I've set the you know, the volume, set the color, is there's like little etchings of Soul Calibur but like on a stone wall. So I, I think that's really, really disappointing. There's no way for me to change it. Anyway. That aside, Soul Calibur was released by Namco in 1999. It's a sequel to Soul Edge, which was released in 1996, and it was kind of, you know, uh, capitalizing on the success of Tekken, but was a weapon-based game. Now, I had the Japanese version of Soul Edge uh, back in the day, and it was epic, but if you uh, had the power PlayStation, then you got Soul Blade, and they also changed the bloke's nunchucks into, I don't even know what they bloody changed it into, but I never played this. My brother had it on his Dreamcast, which I believe is actually superior to the arcade game, um, like with improvements, graphical improvements, mechanical, you know, game mechanic improvements, but I never played it, I only watched it. So, I've been blown some of these three points on um, games in the uh, Xbox arcade, and I thought I definitely got to give this a go. Um, never played it, as I said, but had played uh, Soul Edge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so where's the bloke with the nunchucks? That's that guy there with the Elvis Quiff, go with that. Don't know what the buttons are, can't remember what they were on the PlayStation. Oh well, we'll wing it. Right, okay. It's lovely, lovely graphics. Sweet, right, so... Oh, uh, uh, nice! I have, okay, that was the shoulder bones. Weak! Can you parry him? I'm pretty sure you can. I'm absolutely just making this up as I go along, but it does look really nice. The light effects are absolutely fantastic. And, like most games, I do like the fact in this series and Tekken that you can carry on twatting them when they're dead. And as ever, it's so much fun to knock them off the edge, live or dead. You know, that's what you do. Real men like to kick corpses off cliffs. Nice. A little Bruce Lee sound effect there. Right, how do I. Don't block me. Oh. Say hello to Wally Cozy for me. Wouldn't it be amazing if a big chunk of cliff fell down on you as well? Right, I win. Nice. Oh, stunning graphics still. Some games just stand the test of time, don't they? And this is one that I really want to clip that bit of hair off so he has a proper Elvis quip, quip, quiff. Right, okay. So I can move around the ring. Right, we got air juggles? I'm pretty sure we have. I've got fucking boomerang gun jerks. Oh, wow, I can put it on my foot. Oh. Right, so that's parry. Go on then. No. No, you don't. No, come on. Sweet. Oh, wonder if I kill him, but then I fall off. I forfeit the match. <clears throat> that's fine then. So epic. Stop ripping off Bruce Lee. I mean, I kind of understand where you are. See, if you're quick enough there, after you've stunned her with the hold, you can still hit her body while it's falling to the floor, he says. At least now I'm Soul Edge and not this one. It's not about time we got a new one of these games. What was the last one? Soul Calibur 4 that had characters from Star Wars in? Yeah, bitch slap there, bitch. Well, that was a bit awkward, wasn't it? Right. So epic. It's like poetry in the background. Rewarding you for kicking the shit out of someone. Okay, Cervantes. Like your beat helmet. You look like a Transformer. Oh, fuck. Here's this bloke. I forgot who he was. 
Will we be cheap? No, just, you know, flying kick. Come on, go on the drink. No, go on the drink, you wanker. So I'm guessing he's not the boss in this one now. Because <clears throat> he was like the fucking Davy Jones possessed pirate bloke thingy in the original Soul Edge, wasn't he? How does it hurt? It ain't my fault. What does that even mean? In the water! Bye! Oh shit! Does that. Hang on. Do I still win? Come on. Yay! I guess I can swim, and ironically, he can't. Even though that's his ship over there, so how the fuck did he get on this platform? So the epic beams with a little camera flare. How does that shirt even stay on? Ow! That's what I meant, so you can still hit him. Yeah! Yeah! Whip him while he's dying. Whip it. Whip it good. Oh, after this game plan, I'm going to totally... Alright, don't show off now, mate. No one likes to show off. Totally sink some hours into this. Because I'm guessing he's got a ton of unlockables. Ow! Ooh! I just tried the old classic button flail. Everyone likes a good button flail. Oh, bollocks. It's exactly where he hit me, ironically. Do you think I'm seriously wounded? I'm dead. Otherwise he wouldn't have won, would he? Patronising twat. Right, last attempt, and I'm going to call it quits. Ah, counter. Double counter. I'm guessing he's stronger than me then, which is why he inflicts far more damage just with one bloody blow. Well, there you go. Soul Calibur. Uh, on the Xbox 360, running for Xbox Live. Alright, it's free for me, but, you know, it's worth six quid of anyone's money. Anyway, why am I still flailing in the replay? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.